Collaboration is, is, is key really. It's, it's, it's really fantastic to be here in Brisbane and working with QPAC who are very much embracing the learning potential of such a big um, event like the Royal Ballet Tour. Any great performing arts centre um, needs to reflect the community that it works in. So the aim for this programme is to reach as many people as we can possibly reach and celebrate uh, the Royal Ballet's performances here in Brisbane and Cairns. It will also celebrate the work of your teaching artists since they'll be going out and working with ideas that we will offer them. And, to, and sharing practices, off, offering a way in to an art form which, which, which might be uh, completely unfamiliar uh, and, and, and sharing ideas with, with, with people here, with local teaching artists um, and hopefully learning from them too. Sort of kick-starting what's going to be a really exciting project which will culminate in when the Royal Valley come here in June and July for the performances. I think there's often a big focus on legacy, what can be left behind, so any project that's set up there's always a view to not just the impact in that moment and in that time of that project but what can continue to work in those communities after we've gone. Well the Royal Ballet and the Royal Opera House in fact um, has a huge passion and responsibility to, to, to outreach to the community. It's about getting out to everybody all the way across the UK and now across, across the world. Art is, is, is something for everybody, uh, it's not just for those that can afford it, it's for, it's for everybody. We should open doors, we should give opportunity. And quite often ballet is seen as something that's not accessible for everybody, um, so there's a, there's a duty to offer it in a, and to open the doors to people so they can come and enjoy it.